Where do Jewish people really come from? For generations, this has been one of the most debated questions in history. Some believe Jewish ancestry goes back to a single ancient tribe from the Middle East. Others argue the story is far more complicated, shaped by migrations, mixing, and thousands of years of movement across continents. Today, for the first time, DNA research is giving us clear answers, and what scientists have discovered is changing everything we thought we knew. So stay with me until the end, because we're about to explore the hidden truths inside Jewish DNA. Truths that connect ancient history, global migrations, and the origins of one of the world's oldest communities. But before we begin, let me ask you something. Do you think Jewish origins come from one ancient source, or many? Drop your answer in the comments. When scientists study the DNA of Jewish communities around the world, one pattern appears again and again. No matter where these communities live today, or how far they have traveled through history, a large part of their ancestry points back to the ancient Near East. This region, which includes modern Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, and parts of Jordan and Syria, was home to early Semitic peoples thousands of years ago. It is from these ancient populations that the historic Israelites emerged. Genetic research shows that many Jewish groups carry signatures that are consistent with populations who lived in the Levant during the Bronze and Iron Ages. These were the same centuries when early Israelite culture was forming. Although the genetic foundation is ancient and rooted in the Near East, the story does not end there. One of the most surprising findings is that Jewish communities today are not a single, uniform group. They share a common core, but each community also reflects the region where it lived for many generations. For example, Ashkenazi Jews developed in Europe. Sephardi Jews lived around the Iberian Peninsula and North Africa. Mizrahi Jews lived across the Middle East and parts of Central Asia. Many of these groups preserved cultural and religious traditions that tie back to ancient Israel, yet they also formed new identities through their interactions with surrounding societies. In Europe, Jewish settlers encountered local populations and formed families with them. In the Middle East, Jewish communities lived among Persians, Arabs, Kurds, and other groups, creating new combinations of ancestry. In North Africa, Jews lived alongside Berber, Arab, and Iberian populations. Even though many of these communities lived separately or maintained strict traditions, there was always some degree of contact with the societies around them. Among all Jewish groups, the Ashkenazi community has one of the most distinctive genetic histories. Today, there are millions of Ashkenazi Jews around the world, yet genetic studies reveal that many of them descend from a surprisingly small group of ancestors. This event is known as a bottleneck a term that describes when a large population grows from a small number of founders. Scientists estimate that between the Middle Ages and early modern period, the Ashkenazi Jewish population went through such a bottleneck. During this time, Europe faced wars, disease, and social restrictions, which affected many communities, including Jews. Ashkenazi groups were often confined to specific regions or forced to move from place to place. These pressures reduced the size of the population, and only a small number of families continued into the next generations. A large percentage of modern Ashkenazi Jews share ancestry from a limited set of medieval founders. This does not mean the group is inbred or isolated in a negative sense. Instead, it tells a story of historical survival in the face of difficult conditions. Another interesting finding is that the Ashkenazi genetic profile combines both the ancient Near Eastern foundation and European contributions. The Near Eastern component links them to the same ancestral roots shared by other Jewish communities. The European component reflects centuries of life in countries such as Italy, Germany, France, and later Eastern Europe. One of the most consistent findings in Jewish DNA research is that communities living far apart still share ancestry linked to the Levant. This connection shows up in both ancient and modern genetic samples. It also aligns with archaeological evidence of population movements in the Middle East during biblical times. The strength of this connection varies depending on the community. Mizrahi Jews, who lived closer to the Near East, often show a higher proportion of this ancestry. 
Ashkenazi Jews have a mix of Near Eastern and European components. Sephardi Jews show ties to both the Levant and the regions of North Africa or the Iberian Peninsula. Yet even with these differences, the core element remains visible. Ashkenazi Jews show clear genetic contributions from European ancestors, especially on the maternal line. This suggests that when Jewish settlers arrived in Europe, some local women became part of the community, while the paternal lines remained strongly tied to the Near East. Mizrahi Jews shows ancestry from various Middle Eastern populations, including Arabs, Persians, and other regional groups. These influences reflect centuries of shared history in regions like Iraq, Iran, Yemen, and the Arabian Peninsula. Sephardi Jews carry DNA from North African Berber groups, Arab communities, and people from the Iberian Peninsula. Their genetic profile mirrors the long history of Jewish life in Spain, Portugal, Morocco, Tunisia, and surrounding regions. Each of these influences tells a part of the larger story. Jewish communities preserve traditions, language elements, and religious identity, but their DNA also recorded the experiences of migration, settlement, and exchange. Instead of erasing the ancient Near Eastern roots, these layers added depth and variety to the genetic story. When people think about the origins of the Jewish people, they often turn first to the stories found in the Hebrew Bible. These stories describe tribes, migrations, exiles, and cultural changes across many centuries. Modern DNA research does not confirm every detail of these accounts, but it does show broad patterns that match the general timeline. DNA cannot identify specific tribes such as Judah, Benjamin, or Levi. It also cannot pinpoint exact family lines. What it can do is outline the movement of people over time. The genetic evidence supports the idea that a core population lived continuously in the Near East for thousands of years. It also supports the timing of major historical events, such as the period when groups moved into the Babylonian and Persian regions. DNA shows that some Jewish communities today still retain ancestry from these ancient migrations. In this way, genetic research complements the narrative found in texts and archaeology, offering a clearer picture of how historical events shaped real populations. One topic that often comes up in discussions about Jewish ancestry is the Khazar theory. This idea suggests that Ashkenazi Jews descend mainly from a medieval Turkic empire known as the Khazar Khaganate. According to the theory, the Khazars converted to Judaism and later became the ancestors of European Jews. Modern genetic studies, however, do not support this claim. Researchers have compared the DNA of Jewish communities with the DNA of modern populations from the Caucasus and Central Asia. The results show that Ashkenazi Jews share much stronger genetic ties with other Jewish groups and with ancient populations from the Near East than they do with Turkic or Central Asian peoples. This does not mean the Khazars played no historical role. There may have been interactions or small conversions, but they did not form the main ancestry of Ashkenazi Jews. The genetic evidence points instead to a mixture of Near Eastern roots and European influences, which fits the broader historical record of Jewish settlement in Europe. By addressing the Khazar theory directly, researchers help clarify misunderstandings and highlight the importance of examining both historical documents and genetic data together. Another important finding in Jewish DNA research is the difference between maternal and paternal ancestry. When scientists examine the Y chromosome, which is passed from father to son, they find strong connections to ancient Near Eastern populations across many Jewish groups. This suggests that early male ancestors of these communities kept a consistent lineage tied to the region. The maternal line, however, shows more regional variation. In Ashkenazi Jews, for example, a significant portion of maternal ancestry traces back to Europe. This indicates that when Jewish communities settled in Europe during the early medieval period, local women joined the community. Over time, these women became part of the growing Jewish population, while the paternal lines remained linked to the Middle East. In other Jewish groups, the maternal line reflects the local populations where they lived. Mizrahi Jews show maternal links to Middle Eastern and Arabian groups. 
Sephardi Jews have maternal ancestry tied to Iberia and North Africa. These patterns do not contradict the shared Near Eastern foundation. Instead, they show how Jewish communities adapted to life in new places while still preserving a core identity rooted in the male lineage. To understand the full range of Jewish ancestry, it is important to look at the Sephardi and Mizrahi communities. These groups lived for many centuries across the Middle East, North Africa, and parts of Southern Europe. Their histories include long periods of cultural exchange, trade, and migration, which are reflected in their DNA. Sephardi Jews originally lived in Spain and Portugal before the expulsion in the late 15th century. Their DNA shows a blend of Near Eastern, North African, and Iberian ancestry. After leaving Iberia, many settled in Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Turkey, Greece, and the Balkans. Over time, they formed communities with distinct cultural traditions but retained genetic links to their ancient Near Eastern roots. Mizrahi Jews include groups from Iraq, Iran, Yemen, Syria, and other parts of the Arab world. Their DNA shows strong continuity with Middle Eastern populations, often more so than in other Jewish groups. This makes sense because many Mizrahi communities lived closer to the regions where early Jewish history began. Their ancestry reflects centuries of life under Persian, Babylonian, and Arab influence. Together, the Sephardi and Mizrahi histories demonstrate how Jewish identity adapted to different environments. Their genetic profiles carry both the ancient Levantine foundation and the influences of the societies that surrounded them. This creates a rich and diverse picture of Jewish ancestry across a wide geographic area. Another important part of the Jewish genetic story is the heritage of the Beta Israel, or Ethiopian Jews. Their history is distinct from other Jewish communities, and their DNA reflects this uniqueness. Genetic studies show that the Beta Israel have ancestry linked primarily to ancient East African populations. This places them within the long history of the Horn of Africa. At the same time, there are elements of their ancestry that suggest early contact with Semitic groups from the Near East. This aligns with historical and linguistic evidence of ancient connections between Ethiopia and the Middle East. Unlike other Jewish communities, the Beta Israel did not share the same level of Near Eastern paternal ancestry. Instead, their origin appears to come from a separate historical pathway involving local East African populations who developed Jewish religious traditions over many centuries. Their story adds another dimension to the global Jewish narrative. It shows how Jewish identity took shape in different ways, influenced by local cultures, migrations, and religious developments. The Beta Israel represent a branch of Jewish history that formed outside the main line of diaspora communities but still maintained cultural and religious ties to the broader tradition. The history of the Jewish people stretches from ancient Near Eastern tribes and biblical communities to the long journey of the diaspora across Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and beyond. Every migration, every settlement, and every generation has left its mark on the Jewish genetic story. If you've enjoyed this journey through the unique DNA of the Jewish people, let us know in the comments. Have you ever taken a DNA test and found links to Jewish ancestry? Or maybe you've always wondered where your family's traditions, features, or roots truly come from. Share your story. We'd love to hear it. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more history and ancestry content, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.